Once upon a time, in a beautiful kingdom, there lived a kind and gentle king and queen. They were blessed with a daughter whom they named Snow White. She had skin as white as snow, lips as red as roses, and hair as black as ebony. Snow White was the most beautiful princess in all the land. However, the queen fell ill and passed away, leaving the king heartbroken. Eventually, the king remarried a vain and wicked queen who had a magical mirror. Every day, the queen would ask the mirror, Mirror, mirror on the wall, who is the fairest of them all? And the mirror always replied, You, my queen, are the fairest in the lale. Years passed, and Snow White grew into a kind-hearted and gentle princess. But as she grew older, her stepmother became envious of Snow White's beauty and kindness. The queen couldn't bear the thought of Snow White being more beautiful than her. So she hatched a wicked plan to get rid of the princess. One day, the queen ordered a huntsman to take Snow White into the forest and kill her. The huntsman, being kind-hearted himself, couldn't harm Snow White. He told her to run away and hide in the deep forest, warning her never to return. Lost and frightened, Snow White ventured deeper into the forest until she came across a small cottage. It belonged to seven dwarfs who worked in the nearby mines. Snow White knocked on the door, and finding no one home, entered the cottage to rest. When the seven dwarfs returned from work, they were surprised to find Snow White in their home. But seeing her kind and innocent nature, they welcomed her and offered her a place to stay. Snow White, grateful for their kindness, agreed to keep the cottage tidy while the dwarfs were away. Meanwhile, the queen asked her magical mirror the same question she always did. But this time, the mirror replied, Snow White, beyond the mountains with the seven dwarfs, is the fairest of them all. Enraged, the queen realized that Snow White was alive and still the fairest in the land. Heartbroken, the dwarfs returned to find Snow White lifeless. They grieved and built a glass coffin to preserve her beauty. The dwarfs took turns watching over her day and night, hoping for a miracle. One day, a prince from a neighboring kingdom heard of Snow White's story and the enchanting beauty she possessed. Determined to see her, he traveled to the dwarf's cottage and asked to see Snow White. The dwarves, moved by the prince's sincerity, allowed him to approach the glass coffin. As the prince leaned in to kiss Snow White goodbye, a miracle happened. Snow White woke up from her deep slumber. The spell had been broken by true love's kiss. Snow White and the prince were overjoyed and shared their love for each other. The prince asked Snow White to accompany him to his kingdom, where they would live happily ever after. Snow White bid farewell to the kind-hearted dwarfs, grateful for their friendship and care. And so, Snow White and the prince lived happily in their kingdom, surrounded by love and joy, while the wicked queen's envy and